What's up guys, Refran with you back with another video and this is part two of the planted tank. Um, as you can see, I have the escape already in set. I uh, got some rocks down here, use the bigger piece up here and another piece coming out from over there. And then we have this cool little branch that's, that sticks out in different parts of the tank. Um, I already put the contra soil into the tank. This is the three liter bag, I believe it was. And I'm also starting a dry start. Well, they sort of call it a dry start um, with some seeds that I got from Amazon. Um, saw all the reviews, they were really good. So basically it'll give me a carpet of green lush um, plants on the bottom. And then the top should be open to whatever I want to put up there. Um, as you can see, I put the seeds in there. You can tell the difference between the seeds and the contra soil. But also, I didn't flood the tank, so it'll help the roots uh, get rooted into the contra soil. As you can see there. So uh, daily, I'll be misting the top of it so it doesn't get dried out until they're all rooted into the tank. And once it's rooted, uh, I'm gonna flood the tank and then we can add shrimps, fish, whatever we want to put in this tank, but also do the important feature that I want for this is gonna be a waterfall section that's coming through here. So there's gonna be a tube that comes through there and just waterfalls down to here. So there will be a little waterfall action going on there. Uh, but yeah, otherwise pretty smooth so far. Everything's looking good. Uh, if you have any comments, any questions, let me know any suggestions or feedback too. Um, but yeah, this is the UNS 45S. Uh, shallow tank, really clean, no issues. Uh, the wood, some of the wood is from Amazon. This was from boostplant.com. Um, the rocks as well from boostplant.com. Uh, the light is the Illumagic Pixel. Spray painted the mount white, and as you can see, the pixel right there. The pixel is the same light as the X4s, but this is the, uh, how did he call it? This is called the Aquascaper uh, lens or lights that has more whites in it. So if I wanna convert this into a frag tank later on down the road, I can do that. Um, they also have three other ones which is like a reefer one and also a frag tank series one. Um, but yeah, similar to the X-Force, it's a puck style. X-Force has four of them, Pixel has one of them, but very similar. So sort of sort of matches the, the vibe that's going on over here, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it for now. Gonna wait. So usually I have the these seeds in my other tank. They sprouted within about a week or two and pretty much are covering the spots that I put them in. So I'm really hoping within a week or two, we can see some grass growing. Um, so maybe I'll continue on from there. But yeah, stay tuned. Next video is probably be, uh, uh, let's see, two weeks later. And then we can do progress updates on how they're sprouting. There's no CO2 uh, injections. There's nothing like that. So it's all coming from the air going to the tank. Um, they usually say saran wrap the top, but I'm gonna try it out without doing that. But yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna get part two of how these seeds are doing. All right, it's about 10 days since the last video I shot and look what we have here. We have some sproutings, some little ones growing up in the corners over here as you can see. Very cool. I'd give it about another couple days before the whole bottom gets uh, covered with some greenery. Um, little upgrades to the scape. I just took out the main bridge that was over here just to uh, get it more light in, in the section right now, for now. Um, but also added this little pump section, as you can see here, it's not blurry. So basically it'll be a waterfall kind of little thing that come out through there. It comes down through the rocks. Um, I put some seeds up here as well. Uh, hopefully we can get that carpeted soon. Um, but yeah, I saw it on YouTube. Basically have a small pump, put some line through it, and it'll come out as like a waterfall feature. I also have the atomizer from UNS. We'll probably do that uh, once everything's situated. But yeah, very happy. 
we have the little greenery coming through. There was a lot of controversy. I put a post up about it, of me putting these seeds in. Some saying it doesn't work. Some saying you shouldn't. You should just restart because they're they're not good. But honestly, I've had a lot of success in my other tank. I'll show you in, in a bit. But basically, this has covered my other tank. I'll show you right now, real quick, real quick. So there's the other tank. There is the greenery. As you can see right there. A little beta is chilling in there. It's starting to pop up on this gravel as well. As you can see, it's covering the rocks. Being is happy. I actually added more seeds in there because it was doing really well. Um, but yeah, that's doing really well on top where the beta tank is. So yeah, start so tried it over here. We're in day 10 of this. As you can see, it's already sprouting. These are the seeds. Comes in these little packets, sprinkle them in. That's all it is. Some say it's a scam, some say it's not good. Um, but otherwise, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. If it dies, it dies, it's fine. Just replant, put some real stuff in there. But otherwise, um, this hobby is all about experimenting and just trying to figure out what works for your tank. If it doesn't work for you, then it sucks for you, but uh, it's been working for me. <laughs> so, you know, you can give me all the knowledge, you can give me um, information about how you had to deal with it, but it's been working for me, so. I'm happy right now. We'll leave it as is. If it starts dying off, it, th it starts dying off. No, no big deal. Um, we can just always just vacuum in and restart. It's all good. Uh, but yeah, we'll end it right here. Like I said, this is day 10 of the planting. Maybe give it another couple more days. It'll probably be sprouted all up. But yeah, this is the beginning of the water I mean, not the water box, the, the aquarium, UNS Aquarium 45S um, freshwater build. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. We'll catch you back up on the next one. Hopefully everything should be planted. We'll probably start off with filling it with water, let that settle down, then we put some fish and some other livestock in there. But yeah, we'll end it here. Catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for the love and support. Like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. All right, so it's been about 15 days since I last seeded the tank. People saying it doesn't work. Here it is. They said only last couple months. We'll see what happens. Um, if anything, if it does melt or whatever, we'll just replant it, no big deal. Otherwise, pretty happy with what it looks like. This is day 15 or so uh, since I last put the seeds in. Gonna start filling up the tank now. Um, we have some sprouting up there, so I definitely want to get that watered in. Uh, I've been using this sprayer that I got from Amazon. It's like a continuous sprayer. Not really, but kind of gimmicky. You see it's a longer spray. Not, it's not continuous, but it's a longer spray. Um, pretty cheap. I don't know if you want the link to it, but it's all over Amazon. Um, uh, but yeah, we're going to get it started. We're going to get some water in here. Uh, like I said, we're using the Pixel Light from Illumagic, uh, UNS 45S tank it's a shallow tank um got this wood from boostplant.com i also have another piece of wood right here um that i got from amazon and some of the rocks are from boostplant as well so we're gonna get that started get some water in here and then we'll just follow through but yeah stay tuned and we'll get this filled up with water and also i forgot to mention we will test our waterfall feature that i have with a small pump connected to tubing that'll hopefully trickle down into this section. Hopefully that works, fingers crossed. Stay tuned. All right, we're in business. We've got the water flowing, We've got water in the tank. Uh, probably gonna fill up a little bit higher than this, maybe, I don't know, it depends. Just gonna figure it all out right now, but really testing this waterfall feature. Uh, really simple setup. Basically got a small little pump right there um, with a little hose. And with that little pump, I can adjust the flow rate of uh, the waterfall. So basically, once I have everything set up, I'm going to put up this piece of driftwood over here, which goes across like a bridge. But also, I ordered some moss and some plants that will fill in the space even more. Um, hopefully, I can get like a really nice plant here to block the hose. But otherwise, really liking how this is really turning out. It's looking really good. Um, hopefully, we can get some fish in maybe like a week or a month we'll see really want the the i forget what these are called 
the plants to really spread across the soil and we're in business uh, like I said it's gonna be a low-tech tank no heater um, the light and my just room temperature should keep this tank warm enough uh, to the right temperatures um, like I said we're using the Illumagic Pixel custom painted the light bracket white um, just some random pump that I had laying around USB powered um, totally adjustable what else can I say but yeah tanks looking good really happy with it really want this to start populating uh, maybe before the end of 2022 but if we get if we slow down and just progress during 2023 that's fine too um, but yeah super simple doesn't get any easier and cooler than that um, trying to get like different angles how it looks but really nice super quiet there's a little rattling in the pump, but I think there's probably something caught in it. Um, but otherwise, this is exactly how I imagine this tank looking. Um, once I get the plants in, the moss, it's gonna look really cool. And I have a little surprise for this tank that I haven't set up yet. But yeah, thanks for watching. Quick little video. Um, if there are any comments, questions, let me know. Super simple how to set up a, a waterfall for your tank. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.